How's it going folks? This is Jeff Benjamin. In this video, we take a look at iOS 13.1 beta one. Check it out. All right, so one thing you'll notice is that the heart emojis, not the actual just standalone hearts, but the hearts with the little faces, the hearts themselves are a little bit different. You'll notice that there's some reflection on the outside edges of the hearts. So in this demonstration, iOS 13.1 is on the right with the reflections on the heart in the previous iOS 13 beta is on the left. Now, one of the standout things about iOS 13.1 beta one is the presence of seven dynamic wallpaper to go along with the original seven. Now this could allude to the colors that we'll see for the upcoming iPhone 10R successor, uh, but that's just speculation at the moment. So here's a more up close and personal look at those seven additional wallpapers, the various colors. Here's that sort of lime green wallpaper. And you'll notice as you move your phone, those little circles will move as well. The text for personal hotspot got a minor update in 13.1 beta one. You'll see instead of saying personal hotspot, which is sort of redundant, it actually says now allow others to join in 13 beta one. You'll notice that the quick action shortcut for the settings app now features a battery glyph with a full battery, regardless of what your battery state actually is. Previously, you'll see that the battery was about half full on the little glyph icon, but in 13.1, as you can see, it's completely full. And you'll also notice in 13.1 beta one, when you go to settings, general, and go to fonts, you're gonna see no fonts installed, of course, but now you see additional information telling you you can download apps that install fonts from the app store with a link to the app store now in previous betas this is what it looked like fonts you install appear here and that's pretty much it so this new update gives us a better idea of what we can expect when ios 13 ships now you'll also notice that the little dot that appears to the left of the name of beta applications that are downloaded from test flight has a slightly changed appearance. Now the indicator is more, more of an orange color. When you go into control center to adjust the volume of your iPhone, you'll notice that the glyph is gonna be much bigger on iOS 13.1 beta one. Here's another really cool detail. Now your Xbox wireless controller, and I'm assuming the PlayStation 4 controller will also show up inside the battery widget alongside your Apple Watch or your AirPods or your Power Beats in your iPhone as well. Another thing that you'll notice is updated AirDrop destination icon. So now you'll see an actual picture of an iMac or an iPhone instead of just your user profile avatar. I actually like the new way better because it makes it easier to quickly determine which device I wanna to send to. Now you're also gonna notice some extremely subtle but very cool animations when turning on items within the home app, just tapping the tiles. For instance, notice how the light fixture swings back and forth when you turn it on, but that's not it. Now you get additional light icons within the home app. So you're not just limited to a few choices. Now, as you can see here, you get more options. You get things like chandeliers and even light strips. You'll notice that the weather widget on iOS 13.1 beta one on the right features slightly larger glyphs for the hourly forecast. And guess what? In iOS 13.1 beta one, the automations tab in the shortcuts app finally makes a comeback after appearing in the initial beta and then going away for quite a few betas after that. But now you can have your smart home devices react to changes thanks to built-in automation. And like that feature, shared ETA is now back in iOS 13.1 beta one, but not just that, you now have a brand new interface for shared ETAs, as you can see right here, and it looks really good. And finally, when you adjust the volume and you see the volume HUD, it will actually display the type of device you're using currently. So if you're connected to Powerbeats, you'll see a Powerbeats glyph icon there. As you can see, when I'm adjusting that, the Powerbeats glyph icon along with the Powerbeats text. Of course, AirPods will also display as well. And even if you're on a phone call, you'll see a little phone glyph to show you that you're on a phone call when adjusting volume as well. So that is a look at some of the new features and changes in iOS 13.1 beta one. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.